हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू हाउ यू कैन ड्रॉ ए फिगर यूजिंग ऑटो कै टेम्पलेट देर आर टू टैब्स इन ए टेम्पलेट वन इज मॉडल अदर इज ले आउट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग बोथ दीज टैब्स वन बाय वन सो लेट एस डिस्कस द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इन द मॉडल विच सेज यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द फिगर्स इन मॉडल ओनली नाउ लेट एस move to the template in the autocad so this is the template so here you can see one is model and other is layout this is the layout right so let us draw a figure in the model let us turn on ortho mode let us suppose this is the figure let us draw a circle in between at the center let the diameter of the circle be equal to 10 mm right so this is a figure let us suppose let us complete the whole figure in all respects okay let us increase the line weight let it be equal to 1 mm let us go to dimensioning linear dimensioning this is 40 again linear dimensioning this is 60 and then diameter the diameter of the circle is equal to 20 mm so here we have completed this figure in all respects now let us read out what is the second point in the model any figure drawn in the model will automatically appear in the layout so it says that now we have to move to layout so let us move to the layout now so as you can see here the figure that we had drawn in the model it has automatically appeared in the layout right so now let us read the first point in the layout do not draw anything in the layout right so always try to draw the figure in the model only so we will not draw anything in the layout make sure you are in the paper mode now at the bottom on the status bar you can see paper written over here paper right so if i click over here it changes to model okay so it should not be in model model means you will be able to edit this figure okay so which we do not want to do here we will be editing the figure or we will be drawing the figure in the model only here model is there so we will be drawing the figure in this okay in the layout we will not be drawing the figure so change it into paper again click on this model so it has changed to paper now again right let us read further move the cursor near to the text written in the box title box so here this is the title box at the right bottom corner you will find the title box right so then as the cursor move on the text the text gets highlighted okay so just see if i am moving this cursor near to the text written okay like it is on the student name written so this gets highlighted we can see very well see it is getting highlighted then double click on the text and you will be able to edit the text and write your details right so i'll just write my name so if i just click over here you can see you remember you have to double click when it is highlighted okay the moment it gets highlighted then only you have to double click so i am double clicking now 
so as i have double clicked you will be able to edit the text right so you may write your name like then again roll number roll number you can write down so i'm randomly i am taking it as let us say x x x x 2023 okay then class whatever class is there mechanical first sem then topic name double click on topic name orthographic projections then you can write assignment number let it be 1 then date of assignment so this format can be changed okay according to the institute so whatever requirement is there you can change let us say the date is 20 january 2023 right so like this you can edit the text name of institute you can select again this can also be edited right now again let us read further after the completion of the figure and details move to the file option so for this you will have to first of all activate menu bar so click over here show menu bar click on show menu bar go to file option so this is the file option so always you know try to activate this menu bar because in number of functions you will be able to access easily from this menu bar right so you just have to click on this arrow pointing downwards and here you will get the option of show menu bar once it is shown you will get the option of hide menu bar right so go to file and go to plot click on plot so as you click on plot you will get the option to convert your dwg to pdf okay so press okay so you can save your figure so i'm saving it by the name of orthographic projection so here make sure your scale is 1 ratio 1 okay it should be 1 ratio 1 because when you take the print out of this so all the dimensions will be equal means it it will be one ratio one so whatever dimension you have specified the actual dimensions also will be equal to that only when you take the print out right so just save it so you can see your uh, file or your figure has been saved in the form of a pdf right also if you do not want to go for plot under file you can just press control p so as you press control p you will be able to plot okay so you can press okay and you will be able to convert your drawing into pdf right so i suppose this is clear to you thank you so much